So we're dying sea run cutthroat flies. And I'm going to do this in a reverse spider hackle style. This is kind of cool. It's a little dicey to tie, but it, it gives you a fly with a, a kind of a erratic uh, motion. Um, I'm going to tie this. Use, and, and bear with me. We're trying to keep these videos short. Uh, I'm going to put an orange body on, but then I'm going to have to put some body on later also. You don't have to use dub body. This is a STS Trilobal with a little bit of gold ice dub mixed in with it, blended in with it. It's real fuzzy, has a little bit of sparkle. I'm going to put a silver oval tinsel on there. Now comes, here comes a really scary part. This is 5 to 7 inch strong uh, grizzly variant saddle hackle, yellow, orange and yellow. Great sea run color combinations. So this is going to be all backwards. You take your hackle, you strip the fluff. Normally you'd, you'd put the cupped part of the feather towards the rear. You do it backwards, cup towards the front. Normally you start in the back and you wind to the front of the eye. Completely backwards. We're going to tie this on way up front and wind it to the back. It, it, it's really a fun now I, I cut that fairly short and it's this is just one of the dicey parts. How do you tie this on? Way in the front. Make sure it doesn't come loose. Well you just you just do it. Now the Mark Petagene A dot splittable thread is just you know, I really just figured this out in the last month. It's very good thread. It, it really hangs on to that material. I'm winding my thread back to where I think the hackle is going to end. Now again, I'm, I'm starting this as far forward as I can. And by the way, I did do a whip finish there. And I think I put a little bit of cement on there. See how strange this is looking? Now you could stop right there. You could say, no more hackle. I'm going to put an extra turn on there. Now I'm going to say, I've got enough. And, oh! I have realism here. Fly tying reality videos. What if I trade hands there? There we go. That's better. Reach in with a point of my Dr. Slick razor scissors. Nip that off. Okay, what are we going to do now? By the way, one of these days we're going to talk about Tenkara fly rods. Telescoping fly rods. They use a lot of these. Um, this is a, a, possibly a traditional Japanese style of fly tying. Very cool. They'll do this with little bitty tiny hooks and just thread for a body. Uh, I'm really excited to try that. What I've done, you saw me wind my thread over there to keep that hackle facing forward. And now I'm just going to put on a little bit of extra dubbing right there. And now this is another dicey part. I'm going to try to... With an, now you could strictly do half hitches here. And I'm sure you'd be absolutely fine. Half hitch is a great yeah. way to finish off a fly. I managed to get my whip finish over the hackle. Pinch it tight. Reach in there. Trim that off. So, 
reverse spider hackle. You tie your leader on there. It's optional. You don't. You can just throw the fly in the water if you want to, and the fish will take it. But put your leader on there, and you twitch that, and and these fibers come back, and the fly kind of shoots off at odd angles. Uh, very attractive action for a predatory sea run cutthroat. There you go.